We have been wanting to build a vertical vegetable planter uh, for a while now. Jacob? What? You've wanted this vertical planter. Oh, uh, yes. I, I want to be even more millennial. So yesterday we went and got the lumber to build it, and today we're going to build it. Here is our wood. Here is our screws. We've been doing the farm fresh thing for a while and having organic produce sent to us like every other week. I've talked about this, but um, we've wanted to like grow our own produce and be more sustainable and eat our fresh food and feel good about ourselves. So we're gonna do that. Also the Suzuki's don't know, but we're building one for them too. Bye. So we're using a Home Depot step-by-step uh, -step guide, uh, but we don't have like all the tools. So we're gonna make do with what we got. Four beautiful, oh. They need to be sanded, but four beautiful pieces. All right, so update. We were doing our best. It's not our fault. The blade is uh, not nearly as sharp as we want it to. It actually barely went through our last piece of wood. It's like halfway there. We need a sharper blade. This one's like 20, this one's like seven, this one's like 14, so I don't know what we need. Not too expensive then. I got myself a blade. I'm gonna go back to the Suzuki's. Hello. Just some dudes woodworking, <laughs> listening not to knowing, High School Musical. Not knowing what they're doing. So we have successfully removed the uh, old blade. As you can tell, it is. Uh, very old, uh, and we put the new one in. And it's sexy. We're so capable. So we have 16 cedar pieces cut. 16 of these pieces cut. All of those. Lots of cutting. Ooh. Glue. What is wood glue exactly? Horses? Shna, 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 shna. Okay, so update. Uh, I have moved on to my, uh, out. my daily workout. Um, and Kenny has been assembling the boxes for the potential uh, veggies, and he's doing such a good job. Now walk it out. My little workout station over here. All you need, weights and a little bench. It's 5.30 and we're running out of daylight, and Jacob's exhausted from working out. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're done for the day. So we're gonna pick up the project again tomorrow. Very excited to finish it. Oh wow, you neat. So neat and organized. the sawing is pretty much done so it's it's gonna be putting it together oh except I might have to saw a couple of the planter bottoms <laughs> the 
the worst made boxes. They're just, I have really bad spatial awareness, I guess. But you know what? They're sturdy and that's what matters. They're not gonna break, even if they're ugly, right? Right. <laughs> ugly is pretty too. What? Beautiful. We're gonna paint her, but I don't know what color yet. What? And then ours, we're gonna take home and assemble it so we can fit it in the car. <laughs> Several days late, I'm finally getting around to finishing the final planter. Whew, sanding is exhausting. domino effect. <laughs> there she is. Now we just have to figure out what to paint it. Got this red with this like dark purple. So the herbs at the Suzuki's are doing really well after the like crap load of rain we just got. The mint predictably is growing in like crazy. Today I'm at Lowe's with Chris because hey. we we're finally getting around to getting our herbs. Um, so what larger pot do you want to get? Um, a cheap one. Since I've already planted some things over at the Suzuki's, I have some idea of what we're looking for. And I think we're basically looking to do like a, a full spread of herbs and maybe some lettuces. This is also gonna be an experiment because things might die and we're always learning all the time. Everything dies. More like. Yeah, I like that one. This one. I like the terracotta, but they don't have one that's like big enough, I don't think. Yeah, that seems right. So I'm thinking we wanna do parsley, mint, basil, Basil, pineapple, sage, Ooh, curly kale. Oh, well, yeah, that's in a thing already. Actually, we should get one, yeah? I'm down. Grabbing a tomato plant and dirt. Okay, all of the options. Yeah, if that's all of them, then we should do that. Oh, yeah, fruit trees, but. Fruit trees? I'm done to look at fruit trees. Well, there aren't any here right now. Oh, because it's winter. <laughs> We're making sure to get organic Omri listed dirt and fertilizer because uh, obviously we want to eat our stuff and have it not kill us. Hey little plant buddies. Let's go get you in the ground. Well, in the that vertical sounds, planter. <laughs> that sounds really dark when you say that. Here you go, tomato. I would love to plant everything right now, except I have to work in like half hour. Back from work. <coughs> Thankfully, finally we can plant things. Yay! Hi friend. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely needed a bigger pot. To stimulate growth, like the guy said. Do you want some nuts? I love me some nuts. Some raw nuts. You get some that catnip? One? That. Yeah. That. And then... No, we didn't because Chris didn't want a bunch of fucked up neighborhood cats running around our house all the time. You have different goals in life than me. So I'm thinking kale on top. Like 
here. The mint needs to be in its own thing. As we've learned from experience. <laughs> Cilantro and parsley, then would be... Something like that. I feel very connected to nature. Cute AF. <laughs> And I'm excited to do more. I want to do more more vegetables. If all of us just did a little bit of our own farming, we could do a lot to help the global. But actually, so we're just missing the bottom row, which I think we're going to do like rosemary and uh, lavender down there. Maybe thyme too, but uh, the Suzuki's have thyme, so we Dogs. Dogs. Dogs.